What up brothers, it's Clip King returning, welcome back to my channel for another new review. As you can see, the figure I'll be reviewing today is the Damn Toys Gangster's Kingdom exclusive Spade 2. Also known as Nelson, and some of you guys might know it as the Vinnie Jones one. Show ya. I'll be reviewing it up, giving it a full score, telling me thoughts on these exclusive figures, and also doing a little comparison to the original to a spades figure. I'll also say once this one's reviewed and up on my channel I'll be totally up to date with the damn toys apart from Ada which has only just started shipping but that will be coming soon. And as I've said before for those who are interested in the damn toys Gangsters Kingdom figures please check out all the other reviews that I've done and also a few comparison videos a few group videos they're all on my channel if you're not interested in this line I do understand that but there is also a lot of other Hot Toys and Enter Bay reviews on my channel and also some custom reviews. So please stick around and check out a few of my other videos. If you do enjoy it, please like it, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Start sharing these videos around, it would be much appreciated. So, let's make a start and start getting some scores. Talk about the packaging. As you can see, this one is one of the old style packaging with a magnet side, uh, the really good thick card and the uniform artwork that I do like. Just pointing out, again, it is the two of spades, so you get the head sculpt in profile with the spade shape sort of around it, and then the number where the ear would be, which is the number two. Moving down, we get the number two in Roman numerals, and then the titles as we move to the bottom. Moving to the spine of the box, again, the same titles with a smaller version of the uh, front cover and then the uh, the symbol that features on the uh, left breast of his jacket which is really nice I'll point out that the serial number is number GK 002X this is the second exclusive the first one was the exclusive of GA and then as we look at the back you see again the cartoon style uh, emblem which shows his baseball bat and the shotgun, which the figure doesn't bring. But as we move down, you see it's the uh, exhibition of Damn Toys 2015. It was the exclusive for, I think, the Singapore Toy Fair, but I could be wrong on that. And as we move to the other spine of the box, you see there's nothing on there. The artwork is quite eye-catching on this one. As you can see, it's very bright. It looks like a sort of painted wooden fence or door, and then like the blue's peeling off, and then underneath that you see the red. And again, down here, it looks like that's peeling off also. So nice artwork, fits in theme with all the other boxes, and I do like it. As I've mentioned, it is a magnet attached on both sides, so you can move that away, turn it round, and then as you see, you have the shutter door and the walls with the graffiti on. So if you want to stand the figure in front of that, it makes a nice uh, backdrop to him. So I do like that, that's why I do one of the things I really like about the Damn Toys packaging. Moving back to the box, you see the inlay slip, which again features the two of spades playing card with a really nice artwork. And then moving down, we see the uh, background story of this figure. I should think you can read that if you choose to. And then when you pull that out, you get the two layers of foam that would house the figure and the lack of accessories on this one. So really nice packaging. You probably know I'm going to score it a 5, so that is what I'm going to do. Of course, part of the packaging, I do include the comic that the later versions do bring. What I'll do, I'm still trying to find a good way to show you this. I'm going to cut the pictures together of each spread, and then we'll roll on to the likeness. Moving on to likeness, and as you see I've slightly changed up the pose, so now you can see the uh, blood spatter marks on end at bat, somebody's had their head clubbed in, and as we move up, I've gone for the uh, varying theme middle finger, 
and then look at the head sculpt. I started off with the hood up and the shades on simply to show you the looks you can get. You can uh, mix and match it up, shades on with the uh, hood up, whatever. So it is a nice touch and you can have him looking different. So everybody's display is not totally the same. But if we are to take the hood down and pull off the shades, you pretty much recognise straight away that it is just a cartoon version of Vinnie Jones. Pretty much got the look of the uh, Bullet Tooth Tony from uh, Snatch or Chris. Is it Big Chris from um, Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels? That's the look you get and it fits in theme with the backstory as I've said before. Again, I will say the crude and blocky sculpt is nicely complemented with a nice soft, subtle paint. Uh, you see the earring there, nice clean eyes. The uh, the deep set eyes. Moving up, you see the, uh, the strands of air with the receding airline. I will say on this time, might not pick up here, but you do have sort of a colour, a brown colour wash through the air, which you don't get on the original version. The original one is very flat looking. That's the same with the skin texture on this one. It, I think the because uh, they moved on a little bit from the original release, it is a little bit more subtle the paint job it's not as flat as they originally were so that is a nice touch I think the expression is perfect for it I've seen some nice customs where they've put this into a suit with a shotgun and uh, or the Desert Eagle and it has get a really nice look it is one of those sculpts that is unmistakable so move back. I think this to be honest what I read on these forums that do uh, people talk about these I think this is the iconic one, maybe more so than Jay. Jay is obviously the leader at pack and the one you would need, but I think most people do go mad for this one. I think the original version has become really hard to get, so people have settled for this one, uh, but I, they always seem to be happy with it, or people seem to be chasing it. I could be wrong with that. Put your thoughts in the comment section below, but that is a feeling I get. To score the likeness, again, like I always say, it's very hard to put a still up of the actor and say, the likeness is perfect because it is just a cartoon representation of that. But again, I really like it and I think they've captured it really well. So for that reason, again, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Right, so let's talk outfit. Before we do, I'll just show you both versions. So the left hand side is the original to a spades Nelson. As you see. Like I said before, brings the shotgun, whereas this one doesn't bring the shotgun, but brings the uh, the petrol can. Similar styling as you notice, but I think if I was pushed, I would say the newer one is the better quality materials. Uh, slight changes, I will make those clear as I go through it, but the, the sort of trends he's wearing are both very similar. Like I said, slight colour variant, which is nice, makes them different enough to want both. But uh, all in all, it is the same sort of outfit. So, before we start, I will show you the original. There is a review of this figure in full, but uh, I'll just mention it quickly. So, underneath, as you see, he does wear the uh, sort of navy coloured hoodie. I'll just point you out a little tip on this. Sometimes hoodies on figures don't sit right. So, what you've got to do, you've got to weight them. What I do is put a few coins in, which will pull the weight of the hoodie down, keep it to his shoulder and make it look more natural so a little tip for you moving down the back you see the deaf baseball on the back of his thing this one i will say used sort of a faux leather on the body of the jacket and also on the sleeves and then moving down to the lighter colored faded jeans which were really nicely done and then the uh, the adidas sneakers which is sort of a beige with brown and then the uh, the blue out, uh, the white outsole, uh, midsole. Sorry, fucking hell, going mental. And looking at the front, like I say, on the front it does have the emblem on the jacket. I will mention as well on this one, this were a zip up front. Now, it is hard to zip this one up because it does actually have the hoodie and then a little t-shirt underneath. So I've tried also as well the zip. Is not the best zipping world sometimes when you can get it zipped up it pops open so I always leave it like that the reason I mentioned that is because on the new one they went for the uh, the buttons 
with the plastic poppers so I think that one would hold it together better but anyway moving on to the new one again the same style trainer but this time going for the darker colors so it's sort of the uh, gray with the dark red stripes and lace and then the uh, darker toe box and heel section again the white midsole and then it is black underneath moving up to a much darker jean as you can see but still faded and still really nicely done moving up it does have a faux leather belt underneath with a really big buckle which is quite hard to show you because of the hoodie then moving up he this time has a sort of a two-tone hoodie so the body section is grey with the darker sleeves and hood I will say I've not weighted the hood on this one uh, because it's sort of been all held in place by the baseball bat so the emblem on the pocket is a little bit bigger this time and also it does have the print down the sleeves it says baseball again if I go around the back it's the death baseball although it is a different patch on his back Moving down the back of his jeans, you see nice embroidery, the patchwork to give him the theme that they are a, a name brand, so to speak. But uh, all in all, really nice. I would say, as I mentioned at the beginning, the materials on the exclusive one are slightly better. And by that, particularly this, it feels like a sort of a suede body section of the jacket. And then it has been like weathered in areas here, sort of over the shoulder. So it's just been like it's been worn a little bit and then the uh, the faux leather sleeves with the striped cuff so either one is really nice but like i said i like both looks i think on looks alone i would probably go for the original one but on the quality of the materials is definitely better on the exclusive one another thing i will mention the chain is a lot bigger on this one than on that one again both wear shades very similar i would say the paintwork is slightly better on the exclusive with the uh, lens you can see through but uh, really good as far as does the outfit into the articulation I think the jacket hinders the arms a little bit not massively but uh, it's certainly nothing that it wouldn't make me knock the score down on so I am going to give the outfit a 5 out of 5 Moving on to articulation, an only way to fly when you're doing your review when you're doing an articulation you need your new Goblin Spider-Man 3 stand that nice concrete cement slab, a clear pole that will hold a figure, no problem. As you see, Spade 2 has gone two-handed clinch on that baseball bat. He's going to come down and stove some fucker's head in. Boom! So that's what we've gone with. Let's move around him and show you. The reason I do this is because he's not got to hold his own weight and I can show you the articulation points and it'll become very clear to you. So let's start off. The head is joined to the neck, it is a complete sculpt, so the only movement is at the lower neck on a ball joint. Moving down to the shoulders, complete to range of motion, up, down, front, back, circulate very well, we'll go around. The double bend through the elbow that you can see, The each hand has the uh, wrist peg with the pin going into the arm and slide on and off really nicely. Moving down, the crunch through the abdomen, rotation through the waist. Full range of motion at the upper leg, slightly, slightly hindered by the jeans, but not massively. As you see, I get a good split through the leg, double bend through the knee, and then the ankle is on a ball joint. Again, because the sculpt on the sneaks into eye, you can move the ankles freely on this one. And I will say it is really well balanced and is one of the ones that will free, uh, easily stand on his own without the crutch grab stand, although I do use one. So the articulation pretty much is perfect. I'm not even going to mark it down on the no movement at the upper neck simply because I don't like the split between the neck and the head. So I do prefer them like that. Although you only, like I say, you only get the uh, you only get the movement at the lower neck. But if we look at him from there, <laughs> he's gone Air Jordan. And he's a fucking wearing Adidas trainers. But look at him, look at air he's catching. He's coming down. He's going to go into a smashing type. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. That start off pose, and I'll move it on to where pose will be next. Boom. Down comes that fucking baseball bat. Whammo. 
you see, see what I've done? Gone from behind his back, nice big arc, straight over the top of his head, straight down. Boom! It's beautiful, that. Anyway, stop uh, chatting shit, stop playing with my toys, and I'll tell you that the articulation is a 5 out of 5. But I will mention, you see, he's not got the big coat on or the uh, the varsity jacket with that on it might knock the articulation down a little bit but that's not the body's fault that is down to the coat rolling on to accessories and this is a little bit of a frustration for me because I've seen every figure that's been released from this line some of them they really do cram the extras to you some they just don't and I don't mind that when I can't think of what else it should bring but when I can think of stuff it could bring then it pisses me off a little bit so first I'm going to go through what it does bring. So we'll start off here with the nice looking gold and silver watch. If I zoom in you will see the detail right on it which is really nice. You have the golden sort of the hip flask and I will say the lid will open on that. It's on a lovely small hinge. So that's nice. That, uh, something very similar came with the first version so that's a nice touch the shades again with a nice clear lens that or tinted lens should I say that looks nice when you display the figure wearing it only two spare hands so you've got a bat holding right hand the fuck you middle um, left hand awesome sculpt on that as I've showed before really realistic I do like that the gold fading into black baseball bat, which is a nice touch. Again with the baseball logo on that side and then the blood spatter on the other side. Do like that, some real weight to that bat as well. Just looking down to the handle. Wrapped up with the uh, the brown wrap. And then the 20 litre fuel drum. And I'll show the lid will move and open. And it has the, uh, the handles at the top that you can hold for nice paintwork on that. Like some kind of oil or diesel, I would think, is running down the drum. Nice addition. And then, obviously, the comic book, which I've already shown. So, as I move up the figure, it'll become clear my thoughts. As you look at him. It does include a left baseball bat holding hand and will also hold the fuel drum moving up the gold chain with a crucifix on it and then as we move along it does have a right trigger hand but brings no gun which I don't understand because the first version brought a shotgun sort of a um, well check the review you'll see it. it's sort of the extended handgun kind of shotgun pump action but uh, like a sort of a smaller shotgun I'm finding it hard to describe it as you can tell I just think me personally I think damn toys always do well sort of putting the right things with the right figures for me this figure because it was an exclusive and because of the hip flask being gold and the gold baseball bat the gold chain the watch with the gold on it I think he'd have been crying out for a nice gold desert eagle I think it would have been a right touch and would have fit the figure really nicely other than that, they could have basically put any gun, or a flick knife, or a lighter, or even a cigarette like you got with the Fat Man figure, or a cigar, whatever, something that would light the fuel in that. But, I don't know, it's just missing. Again, it's missing the base, so I always knock points off for that. They just seem to, I don't know. They didn't tick all the boxes for me with the extras. Like I said, a gun would have been a definite, even if it would have been the same gun as that Reyes gets but they never so I have got to pick them up on that basically because you only get like a few accessories and hands I'm going to be a little bit tight and give it only a two out of a possible five the stuff it brings is nice but it just don't quite bring enough so let's talk about value and before we do I'll just show you what's happening here as you see he's got his fuel drum on his shoulder he's got it open Pouring it out on poor old Reyes, look. He's on his knees, begging for mercy. You see, he's got his smoke lit, and he's ready to throw. So, not many reviewers will show you a 1-6 scale torture scene, but that's pretty much what I'm showing you. There'll also be pictures of that on Instagram, so don't forget to check me out on uncle underscore clipper, and you get to see shots like that with nice filters on them. That looks fucking beautiful. 
anyway value I'll step back and let you let you drink that posing because some of you might be wanting to do that onto the value figures like this the exclusives the memories version seem to be a bit higher the side story version seem to be a bit higher than the standard release prices now you can take your choice do you just stick to the the standard line or do you go for the side story stuff or do you want to go the memories route as well i personally go for all of them simply because there is enough of a variant that it makes me want both so i always collect them all but because the price is a little high on the exclusives it pisses me off a little bit because i'm sure they're getting released at the same price but it's the opportunistic sellers that are bumping the price up be that ebay or people we know in hong kong or singapore wherever i've got to say i've been pretty lucky personally because i know people and talk to people through the facebook groups and always seem to cover all bases when these figures get released i always know i've got one coming and i've normally got them at a decent price so if you look through the reviews i'll tell you who i've bought from uh again this one you're looking at normally 30 or 40 pound more than a standard release which if it brings a load of extras and it is different enough then fair enough but when it doesn't bring that many extras then it does piss you off a little bit because you know you're not buying the figure and the shipping you're lining somebody's pocket which leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth particularly if on flip side for them doing you that favor you're also advertising them then it does piss you off a little bit it can't help but piss you off so because it were around 140 130 140 i can't remember exactly what i paid for it now i'm going to bring the value down to a three out of five normally i would give them a five out of five if they're around the 100 100 pound 110 mark 90 pound is really good value but when you've got to be bumped up just to because somebody's picked it you're up then it fucks you off a little bit so that is why i'm going to give this figure only a three out of five i'm going to go straight on to the sum up and say it is a really nice looking figure i think the people missed out on the original version which is all these are really aimed at same with the exclusive version of j not a lot of people got the original j so I understand it on one hand and the fact i picked him up means i kind of support it but i also this part of me thinks well fuck the figure fuck the people who missed the original figure they should track it down like i fucking had to I had to pay the money i had to pay for the original but then on flip side to me the less spiteful side of me thinks well it's good that everybody gets a chance to get these figures so there is that juxtaposition where where my stance is on these exclusives but like I say, you always do get good quality, but I just wish on this particular one they give you a few extra extra a few extra accessories. I'm talking about the smoke and a pistol or shotgun. So another review done. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm now ready for Ada to arrive. Other than that, I ain't got anything in this collection to review. I might do a complete collection video. I don't know, but I don't know where I'm going from here review-wise, cause I think I've got one figure, two figures expected, So, but I'll announce them obviously come. One of them being Ada, you know that, you know I'm not missing that. Other than that, I've not got a lot of Hot Toys coming and I'm getting asked more and more than I ever have been before, are you reviewing this figure, are you reviewing that? I'm not buying mine until you've got that. And I think to me saying, it's nice that people want to know my opinion, but if they don't know the figures they want, then they're lost a little bit. And also, I think... Go and tell Hot Toys this, or go and tell Damn Toys, or go and tell Enterbay this, that you don't want to buy until I've fucking seen it, because then they might get off their arses and start sending me some fucking review samples, which uh, not many people seem to be wanting to do. And again, massive thanks to the guys in the community who are pretty much keeping my channel afloat and saying, well, I've got Kylo Ren, or I've got this, you can borrow it if you want, and I think... I appreciate it, and if you could get it to me and then I could get it back to you, fair enough. But when I've got to start shipping stuff around the country, then I think to myself, it's another cost that I really can't afford to keep giving to fucking Parcel Force. But anyway, thanks to them guys who even offer. Anyway, review done. Uh, like I said, now up to date with the Gangster's Kingdom. Look out for the Ada review coming soon. But for now, it's a Clipper King, and I am out of here.